Hi, welcome to the Market Alert for Wednesday, the 22nd of December 2021. So, stocks soar as Santa Claus rally hopes, ouster Omicron fears. US stocks are trading definitively higher for no apparent reason. They've been doing that for the last 13 years. But hey ho. Uh, news today. What have we got? Uh, final GDP for the US at 1.30 and then 3 p.m. We've got uh, consumer confidence and existing uh, home sales. So let's have a look at the market uh, for yesterday. Apparently moving to the upside, which uh, you can see here as uh, the Dow marched back to the upside, closing back above the 20 bar moving average and also the 50 as well, heading back towards the 62% retracement. In an intraday uh, look, you can see that uh, we had a, a wild start to the open of the Dow yesterday afternoon. That uh, caused a bit of a problem with the German DAX, but uh, the market uh, became oversold, divergence, then the buying. In any bull market, you want to get back above the previous day's high, and that's uh, what we're seeing here. And also we've got the two areas here where the market had uh, moved lower. And that's why you've got this uh, resistance here as well as the market tries to break through. And eventually it does on uh, buying volume there and then able to move up and trade to the 200 MA where it stayed uh, overnight. So prices at the moment uh, stuck in a sideways range for the Dow and expect things to become a little bit uh, quieter now as we uh, head towards the uh, festivities. There's only really tomorrow on Friday will be half day trading so uh, expect the volatility just to start disappearing over today and tomorrow. In the German DAX we have uh, a situation where we also see prices moving back to the upside. They were tested well on uh, Monday, Tuesday the market moving up 62% retracement and the 200 MA and the 20 bar moving average. These need to be taken out if the market is to make any headway towards the 78 and the 89% retracement there. In the 30 minutes, again, you can see uh, for yesterday, the market uh, moving to the upside. First thing, you see this here, getting above the high, then slam back down, and then at 10.30, finding support and then moving up. Apart from when we get to the afternoon where you can see here, this is uh, when the Dow opened in the 30 minute DAX, so it was uh, sideways and volatile. And then eventually, as the Dow broke and um, traded above the high, so did the German DAX there. In the two minute chart, uh, we had uh, no uh, signals in the morning, no automatic signals. Uh, the market uh, did move higher. We spoke about this uh, yesterday morning as I was recording and said expect the market to go through. Uh, the previous day's high. I was recording at uh, 6.30 yesterday morning, uh, not 6.30, uh, 6 o'clock, and then the market uh, moved above the high and then continued higher in the futures market. No surprise there. We start to uh, see weakness coming into the market uh, here with the parabolic shifting. Then we get a close through the 200 MA, then the 20, then the BRN, and then the 50 bar, and then we start to accelerate through the 200 this becomes a resistance. This is the high of uh, Monday. And the market bangs its head against it, but then relents and moves lower before uh, attempting to come back up to the 200 MA there. And then back down for the uh, final sell down to the BRN, which uh, we can see here is at uh, 15,300. We're over, so we've got divergence, uh, which we can see there. And we've got a couple of uh, high volume bars, then the market just reverses the parabolic switch is closed back above the five and then the same pattern moves uh, the market to the upside. In the uh, afternoon, like I say, it was uh, very volatile on the Dow. Uh, the open yesterday, uh, we had a, a signal here that failed the market closing back with selling as the Dow started to rip lower. This was a 10 point loss. So I decided to get out of this because uh, there's always the chance that the DAX is going to follow sharply. It did move lower, but then uh, found some support and then uh, we had a, a potential buy signal. This is only a scalp trade as well because the market, uh, as it started to come back there, moving 
the stop up as it uh, prices moved higher. We had resistance here, prices trading sideways at the BRN. That was an alert to say that we've got a problem. We're also overbought at this stage, so took the uh, the stop up when you get this situation because of the BRNs, they can soon reverse, and that's exactly what we saw there. And again, on the downside, there's not a lot in this at all uh, as the market came back to uh, break even off the uh, high. But then the high is an area where you'll expect to find some support. We've got uh, divergence again, similar to what we had in the earlier part of the morning. So we've got divergence. We're at the high. It's an area where you're going to find support. And that's exactly what happened there. And then prices uh, moving back to the upside. So not that brilliant of an afternoon because the market was range bound. Uh, but uh, when it broke, and again, that ties in with what you saw on the Dow. Once it had its shake out, the market then moved back up. And both both uh, the Dow and the DAX come uh, launching itself off the previous day's high. Overnight, uh, prices are fairly quiet, uh, which you can see they're tiny bars. Like I say, we're getting close to uh, the festivities, so we're going to see uh, the volatility drop. Uh, we've got the high up here that we need to uh, make a move towards. At the moment, uh, we've got the averages all lined up in the right direction. The five is starting to come back a bit there, though. Just crossed uh, the 20 bar moving average. Bit of weakness around at the moment. But that can soon be eradicated when the uh, futures market opens. And finally, uh, lo and behold, silver was allowed to move higher yesterday, but uh, don't hold your breath. Uh, expect that to revert back to the downside today. You can see yesterday that it was uh, allowed to move to the upside. But as soon as the we got to the London fix, guess what? Uh, all the sodding time, they do this as uh, we know. And there you'll see uh, the market uh, slammed all the way back. It was making really good progress. Uh, it's inevitable. That's what they're going to continue to do. So don't be surprised if we have uh, a market that guns for the uh, previous day's low today. And that's because the dollar is sideways to higher as well. So any excuse to move the dollar and get it through back to these highs, they will do whatever they can to keep the illusion alive that the dollar still has some sort of value. But uh, we know it doesn't. Uh, gold uh, moving lower and uh, during yesterday as well and this has actually uh, had an impact on the gold and silver ratio which uh, you can see here moving down sharply so silver the stronger of the two metals yesterday making some uh, progress but like I said before if you uh, when we get towards the 80 the uh, market then uh, makes uh, a sort of a, a move uh, to the upside in the underlying but uh, an interesting picture there at uh, the moment uh, that's for sure this is the inverse of what you see in the silver uh, chart of course so yeah let's see what uh, happens today say so we're heading into that uh, lull and it will be fairly quietish for the next uh, week or so until we get back to where uh, the, the new year celebrations are out of the way then the, the fun will start as the tapering and the prospect of the Fed which is laughable trying to increase interest rates. Okay, that's it for this one. If there is anything to report, I'll let you know. But as ever, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.